Hi, my name is Pat with Micro Center Technical Support, and today we're continuing our video series on Microsoft Access 2010. Now suppose that you've already started to populate your database with data, and suppose you've got two tables that have the same exact field in each table. How are you going to get those two tables to relate with each other based on that field? Well, today we're going to show you how to go in and create and edit relationships between tables in Microsoft Access 2010. So let's get started. Okay, first we're going to open up Microsoft Access. So click on the Start menu, click on All Programs, expand the Microsoft Office folder, and click on Microsoft Access 2010. And I'm opening up my recent database here, the My Company database. And we notice here I've got three tables, customers, merchandise, and sales merchandise, all of which I want to uh, create relationships between. So I'm going to click on Database Tools up here, then click on Relationships. I'm going to click on Show Table, and I'm going to double click on Customers Table, I'm going to double click on the Merchandise Table, and I'm going to double click on the Sales Merchandise Table. Click on Close, and so and I'm going to go ahead and expand these here so I can see all the fields in each table. And so um, I want to be able to create relationships between these tables now. In the uh, customers table, actually I'm going to move these around here. I've got a uh, customer number here, the primary key, and the customer number is also in the sales merchandise table. So I can create a rela relationship here um, between these two customer number fields. So the easiest way to do that is if you uh, click and hold on the uh, on that field here, I'm going to drag it over here and to the other customer number here on the sales merchandise table, and then I'm going to release the mouse button, and it's going to come up with the edit relationship um, property box here. And so I can see I've got customer number from the customers table and customer number from the sales merchandise table here. Um, I can go ahead and click Create Now. Um, that would be kind of like a, a loose relationship, um, but uh, Access contains a lot more um, options for an in-depth relationship here, uh, which is what I want. So I'm going to check the box here for Enforced Referential Integrity, and basically um, that's uh, letting Access know that it's going to have to check to make sure that the uh, relationship is going to be valid, um, that there are you no know, duplicate keys in the uh, primary key uh, value here in customer numbers. Um, I'm also going to check these two boxes here. Uh, cascade update related fields. So this means that if in the customers table I, uh, I update um, the customer number um, I, that that also gonna, is going to take effect in the uh, customer numbers um, from uh, the, the related key in um, the sales merchandise table here. Um, same thing with uh, Cascade Delete Related Records. Um, if I delete an entire customer, um, all associated sales in the sales merchandise table that are associated with that customer uh, will be deleted too. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. And we can now see we've got a one-to-many relationship here between the customers and the sales mer merchandise table. And I'm also going to create a uh, relationship between the merchandise table and the sales merchandise table. Um, based on item number here. So I'm going to go ahead and click and hold on item number, drag it over here, and let go until I get to the item number here on the sales merchandise table. And again, I'm going to uh, enforce referential, referential integrity and do the cascade update and deletes. Co click on create, and I'm going to go ahead and click on save, and that's how we create relationships. And click on close. Now we see, if I open up the tables here, my one, now um, they look a little bit different. They've got these plus signs next to them. Uh, for instance, if I go to the merchandise table, if I click on this plus sign next to uh, this field here, uh, it brings up all the associated orders from the sales merchandise table. Um, so I can see who all bought this, this item here. Um, you know, the sale date and everything from the merchandise table. And since the merchandise table is also um, the sales merchandise table is related to the customers table. I can also get a little bit more information on each individual customer uh, if I wanted to. And that's how you create and edit relationships in Microsoft Access 2010. For more questions, please visit us at www.microcentertech.com.